Damn, son, where'd you find this? It's Boucher 99. And right now I'm doing a reaction video to some video that I came across on my, um, my recommended. I have not watched this video yet. So the reason I'm watching this with you guys is because I want to react to it together. And that's what we're doing. So let's get into it. The name of this video is The Story of Bounce Back Meek, a.k.a. Naiz, 2900, Asian Bloods, and Stockton. Stockton police are investigating two homicides in the span of just seven hours, and they happened yesterday on National Night Out. Saying that five people were shot here tonight, two of them women, three of them men. What stands out is what you see there. The front driver's side window of a police squad car shattered. Bounce Back Meek is a Cambodian artist based out of Stockton, California. In one of my older videos, we took a dive into the Lewis Oh, Park shit, he looks Park. familiar. In this episode, we're going to be I've seen him before. The career of Bounce Back Meek. I, I've seen him before somewhere. Um, I think it was like a video on YouTube. It was like an interview, maybe, or something like that. But he, I, I never met him in person, but I've seen him before like on YouTube. I don't know if he got into some shit or what. Or formerly known as Nice. Meek has blessed us with some awesome tracks, but before he started laying down heat in the booth, I think it's safe to say our boy Meek has come a long way from his days of dropping tracks like Big Bills. But to be completely honest, our boy Meek sounded pretty nice on the mic from the jump. Subscribe to the channel because I'm dropping videos like this every single week. If you have an idea for a future video, DM me on Instagram. But without further ado, let's get into it. Back in 1979, many refugee camps opened up in Thailand after the fall of the Khmer Rouge. The Khmer Rouge was a communist party led by politician Pol Pot. This party was responsible for one of the worst. I don't know this dude, but subscribe to him if you want some of his videos mass killings of the 20th century, literally converting schools into prisons where thousands upon thousands of Cambodian families would be tortured and killed. At the end of the day, it's believed that up to 2 million people lost their lives during this mass genocide. Meek's family would be amongst the families that escaped to Thailand. His mother being born at one of these refugee camps, they eventually made their way to Minnesota before settling down in Stockton, California. In okay. 1998, Meek's father was they were from Cambodia. To Thailand, to Minnesota, and end up in Stockton. I mean, I don't have much to say about that because I don't have much knowledge about like people that have to migrate from other countries to the uh, poor conditions. But I mean, it's already rough. Like. When you grow up and you're moving around a lot, it changes who you are. Like, you're losing a lot of friends, and a lot of people you meet, you know in your head, oh, I'm not going to see them more often. So, you don't really feel that connection that a lot of people do. And then you can have social problems, all that shit. But would end up in state prison due to a home invasion. His mother would relocate to Texas, and this caused Meek to bounce back and forth between Stockton and Texas during his earlier years. Meek's father would later get released in the year of 2009. Alright, we're gonna, uh, skip this, uh, since Meek was the age of one and he would often freestyle about talking to his dad over the phone. It looks like they're all like pops in my phone Asian. like saying how you being stay true to your fan you don't need to need friends they gonna rap for you now just watch to the end they gonna all turn snitch pops that's how you got in just say yes and you right just have a good life he told me the pigs lurking he gotta call me tonight he's staying the cold sale I don't even know if bail me just doing hella bad is really hurting his health single parent oh, households make bars. up the majority of houses in Stockton, California and you can argue that this is one of the reasons why there is such rap bro got bars I mean that's all I can say bro got bars like I mean he probably I'm pretty sure he wrote that and he remembered it and he recited it but it sounded like something that he put in the song and promote so that's good 
pit gang activity in those streets. Meek would begin rapping at the age of nine, but wouldn't take it seriously until much later. He would drop out of high school sophomore year, which only meant more time in the streets. Growing up on the west side of Stockton, he was surrounded by gang activity his whole life, often getting into fights at school, and I guess Sage Park in Fort Worth was a popular spot to fight at as well. Meek was definitely about the bullshit early on. He has a number of families from the West Side Bloods, but it is rumored that he also has a couple family members from Rascals as well. Before he started going by Bounce Back Meek, he was formerly known as Nice, and he would drop a number of songs under this name. But the song that really bro, bro, first the first song sounded like some Chicago drill shit, like some old school like Chicago shit. Not old school, but you know. And then the second one, the second song, that sounded like some like 2013. You're a jerk, you know, like you're a jerk shit. He's from Stockton, so I know he's from the same movement that I, you know I grew up in his name out would have to be Bando. But shortly after releasing this song, Meek would get busted for a gun charge, which put a pause on his career. On June 5th, 2017, at around 8 p.m., two men were spotted driving guns. in the area of like, Rose Street and Kingsley Avenue doing? in Stockton. A police officer spotted a Lexus and was able to see that the two males were known gang members, so he proceeded to signal for them to pull over. Failing to do so, the occupants proceeded to lead the officer in a short pursuit before crashing into a nearby house. After crashing, both occupants Occupants ditched the car and attempted to discard a firearm. The two males were arrested, and the firearm was also recovered by the officer in pursuit. Details on the condition of the house were hard. <laughs> They're all Asian. Meek would go down for. They're all like Asian homies and shit. Like, oh, they got like. I mean, they must be like in that area, like more like Asian people. But I just thought that's funny because, like, you know, like you, you would see like some diversity a little bit, but it seems like they're all linked up. Like, fuck it. Like, I got your back, you got my back. Like, that's good, but. You know, if you, if you like kind of diverse a little bit, you got you might make some good connections out there for the gun and it would be two years until we would hear any new music from meek but this is the part that confuses me a little bit because according to meek flash out was his first song that he dropped after his hiatus but the song rocking with me dropped in february of 2018 but i'm assuming he recorded this before he caught the gun charge and the page decided to release it much later i don't know but anyway after the two-year hiatus meek would test the waters and drop his single flash out which is honestly one of my top songs from meek and in my opinion one of his best hooks Aside from Flash Out, Meek would drop a number of tracks in 2020 and even a couple with our man Pete Thrizzle. And if you guys are interested in that video, I already did a whole video on Pete Thrizzle, so make sure you go check out that video after you finish with this one. Big Taco, who is also the father of hip hop rapper Ruchi, and other reputable names are The Wax, The Slims, The Pint Gang, and The Scraps. They are currently cool with a few other bloods around them, such as the Inglewood Families and the Queen Street Bloods. But out of all the songs he dropped in 2020, Lay Down has got to be his biggest song of that year for sure. It's also worth noting his situation he had with Stupid Young, which I covered in the Lewis Park Bloods video. But just in case you guys haven't seen that, let me give you a quick recap. <coughs> Meek released a song called Uh, and Young turned around and bought the exclusives to the beat and he released a song called Huh with the same lyrics some lyrics changed up with the same beat and I said this in my previous video that I thought this was the first time in history but I stand corrected it definitely has happened before but at the end of the day it was just a hilarious situation and this comment really just sums up the whole the whole fiasco in general I literally laughed my ass off but this drama has been covered time and time again by many other channels so I'm just gonna leave it at that but just know that I am very aware of the situation. Bounce Back Meek hasn't been in the rap scene for too long. It seems like... <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just like a weird situation in general. Like, first off, you got Stupid Young and he fucking bought the exclusives to uh, Bounce Back Meek's uh, 
fucking uh, record, like the, the beat, and he rapped over it and it sounded the same. He has really taken it much more serious. It's also worth mentioning that his Instagram has been deleted twice. <laughs> what the it's fuck kind is of weird. That? What the fuck is this, bro? <laughs> Because both times it happened around 16,000 followers. Either they're blackballing him or he's posting questionable things on the gram. Who knows? And I think this has got to be the perfect time to bring up his hood vlog he did with Heatrealism. I'm not sure if I mispronounced that. I'm sorry. Which honestly was such a curveball of a video. And it was really interesting to see someone straight from Korea traverse through the streets of Stockton, California. I'm sure most of you guys who are watching this video already saw that vlog. But on the off chance that you didn't, go check it out. It's definitely worth the watch if you you are a fan of me. He's dropped a number of singles in the year 2021, and I'm excited to see what else our boy Meek has got to offer. Fun fact, Meek has actually been in the bully breeding game. I actually found some clips of him like advertising these like bully puppies, and he also has an Instagram page called Bounce Back Bullies, but I'm not exactly sure if this Instagram page is still active. You know, a cool little hustle. Aside from breeding bullies, it looks like Meek it has his fingers in whatever makes money on the streets, and judging from some pictures, it even looks like he was into the JDM car scene, which is super dope. All in all, Bounce Back Meek's story is a story that's still being told. Honestly, I feel like Meek is just getting started. Thank you to everybody that Oh wow, like, honestly, I thought this video was gonna be something about him, like, some crazy shit happened, like he got killed or someone got killed or some shit, but it's not, it's just giving him some clout and telling his story. I mean, it's good though, like, I honestly, like, I think he's a quick cool dude or whatever, like, I'm gonna start to his music, I'm gonna check out his music, um, yeah, like. actually made it to this part of the video like i said before leave this video a like because i'm dropping videos like this every single week subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my future uploads if there's something that i missed about our boy meek make sure you leave it in the comment section but until next time i'll be seeing you guys later peace oh, dude. Well, that's hella energy, like, bro, what was he? Like, that's hella energy and shit. Other than that, uh, thanks for tuning in and watching this video with me.